So what do you do when you have several different brewers along with a huge assortment of paper filters all just kind of thrown into a drawer? Paper clips? Fancy napkin holders? No, that is where this comes in. This is a unique, modular, 3D printed coffee holder from FDM by Optical Blitz. Now hear me out, I know coffee can get very gear heavy with knickknacks and gimmicks for just about everything. I mean, recently I found a super niche paper filter rolling tool for an already super niche coffee filter. But this one solves a genuine problem of when you've got a ton of different coffee filters in different shapes and sizes, and it keeps them all organized and accessible. Now I have actually been using one of these for a few months in a much smaller configuration designed mostly for just V60s and AeroPress filters, but was recently sent this very nice custom one done with my logo, and another one which will go to one of you, but more on that later, and Raymond, the man behind the product, calls this configuration the maximalist. Well, this one's a little bit different, but this one over here is the maximalist. So the maximalist is designed to house Chemex filters, V60 filters, and AeroPress filters, and even comes with a spot for an included RDD tool, also known as the Ross Droplet Technique, aka a fancy way of saying a tiny spritz of water before grinding your beans to prevent static and messy grounds. So these 3D printed filter holders are done in a matte black PLA, which I think of course looks super great, especially in my setup. Now being 3D printed, this also means that there's room for an infinite number of iterations to be produced. You can very quickly be able to add or remove holders for different types of filters, or in this case, customization with an insanely quick turnaround time of anywhere between five to 12 hours, depending on the configuration. Now the attention to detail on these prints are phenomenal with printing lines only visible up close and these quality prints are done on a Prusa i3, which if any of you are into 3D printing, you'll know are among gold standard machines. The edges are nice and curved, giving it a nice chamfer, making it all a lot smoother to the touch. And I've also thrown on a few rubber bumpers on mine just to add a little more grip to the surface. The cutouts to actually grab filters are a nice addition as well, and one of my favorite parts is of course the subtly placed logo, because a lot of times it feels like some products have some massive logos glaring at you. Now on my custom one here, I opted for two V60 holders, one for normal papers and one for um, the fancier Sybaris filters. I also have a stag filter holder as well as an AeroPress filter holder, and of course the RDT bottle. Now another cool little add-on are these 3D printed feet, which perfectly slots into the sides of it, which allows it to house a scale like the Akaya Pearl perfectly underneath. Now, this helps reduce how much space is taken on the coffee bar itself, makes everything look just a little bit cleaner and definitely a lot more organized. If you are interested in picking one of these up, you can use the link in the description down below to Raymond's Etsy shop where he does ship worldwide. You can also give him a follow at FDM by Optical Blitz on Instagram. Now, before we get to the giveaway, here's your friendly reminder to like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. All right, and now onto the giveaway. I will be giving away this brand new maximalist holder with the RDT bottle included as well. And I will also be giving away the smaller filter holder that I have been using for a few months prior, again with the included RDT bottle. Now all you have to do to enter is join via the link in the description down below. This giveaway is open worldwide and the winner will be picked in two weeks from the day this video is published and announced over on my Instagram and will be emailed by me personally. Anyways, that's going to be it for this quick product showcase. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next one.